This is Kehkasha from Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Look around me. This harsh desert environment where I'm standing right now used to be a green, vibrant oasis not so long ago. The same story of environmental degradation and desertification has been unfolding across our planet repeatedly over the past several decades, while global leaders and policy makers spent hours and hours in face-saving, futile negotiations. 30 years ago, when my father went to school, the Aral Sea was listed in his geography textbook as the fourth largest inland water body. Today, in my geography textbook, its image is that of a desert. While millions died of thirst elsewhere, the world simply watched silently as one of its largest water bodies turned into an arid desert. This apathy is being exploited by the industrial powerhouses of the global north to plunder our natural resources under the guise of economic progress for a handful, while the rest of the world suffers the consequences. It's time we asked our leaders, why are you allowing economic progress at the cost of environment and society? Why not institutionalize the role of ombudspersons for the future generations who will have the authority and the mandate to ensure the balance amongst all three pillars of sustainable development? Climate justice and future justice must go hand in hand. My worry is, are we asking these questions too late?